I'm going to teach you how to play the fiddle tune Over the Waterfall. It's a fun fiddle tune. It has fun chords and it's popular. It's been played for years and it's usually played in every jam session I've ever been to. So how I'm going to do this lesson is I'll play the tune up to tempo one time, then I'll break it down slowly into parts and show you the fingering section by section. Then I will show you what the chords are and then we'll wrap it up by playing the tune up to tempo again. Okay, here goes, Over the Waterfall. Over the Waterfall is um, a typical fiddle tune in that it has two parts. It has an A part, which you repeat, and a B part that you repeat. It's in the key of D. Um, I forgot to mention, but at the beginning of this uh, tape, if you listen to this tune a few times before you actually start to learn the fingering and you get it in your ear, you'll be able to learn it much more quickly. So here we're starting out, first phrase of the A part. Let's do that slower. So that starts with third finger on the A string, a D note, E, first finger F sharp, A, third finger, G natural, that's a low second finger, to the F sharp, E, then back to the A string, D, B, A. Let's do that first phrase again. Next phrase. Very close to the first phrase. It starts with the D, third finger. Open E, F sharp, A, third finger, G, low second finger, F sharp, E, D. Let's do that again. Third phrase of the A part of Over the Waterfall is exactly like the first phrase. Here we go. And here's our ending phrase. That goes A, open A, B, C, C, which is a close second finger to the first fingers. Then B, open A, and then third finger on the D string, which is a G note. Let's do that last phrase again. the entire uh, A part one time slowly. part one more time. 
now we're going in to the second, the B part, the second part of Over the Waterfall. Let me play the first phrase. <laughs> notes are F sharp, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, G, third finger, F sharp, and you can add a shuffle stroke to that. Next phrase. Starts on the F sharp again. Those notes are F sharp, which is the second finger on the D string, G, third finger, open, open A, D, third finger, C sharp, D. Now you can either do an open E here and back to D. Or you can do a fourth finger pinky. Let's play that whole phrase again. So the third phrase of the B part is the same as the first phrase of the B part. <laughs> ending phrase. Those notes are F sharp, second finger on the D string, G, third finger. Now you can do either an open A here or a fourth finger. I'm going to do a fourth finger. And G, third finger, F sharp, second finger, E open. Let's do that ending phrase. If you can do that with your fourth finger, you'll be ahead of the game because then you have one less string crossing to do. Or you can go over and do a, a cross, string crossing and go to an open A there. Here then back. So let's now do the entire B part. Starts with the F sharp. Here we go. Now we're going to play over the waterfall one time with the repeats very slowly. Starts third finger on the A string. Here we go.
F sharp. <laughs> Now we can spice this tune up a little bit by adding the shuffle stroke. Let me play a little bit of it. stop a G note but I'm adding my B here to make a G chord and I'm adding some double strings now for the B part to spice it up string with the open A, if you can see that. Both strings. Both strings, D and A. to Over the Waterfall. You can see in the A part where it has that interesting sound. It goes to a C chord then a G chord. That's what makes this tune so popular I think is that that chord change right there. It's got two parts. An A part which you repeat and a B part which you repeat. <laughs> 